Well, what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we'll be putting new calipers onto this car here this being matt field's vet i'll be showing you how to how to add new calipers and make them function and everything so i have my caliper here i need to first position it where i want to so we're gonna do alt a and align to the other caliper that we want center center and then we're also going to actually you know what let's go ahead and because we'll do a dual caliper setup what I'm going to do, we're going to select these, I'm going to do edit poly, and that way I can then select all of these. We're going to delete that. Okay, we're going to convert to poly and isolate. So now we just have to work with one, and then we can just clone it and move it over here for the, uh, the second caliper. Make sure that the pivot point is centered. So if you go to this tab here, hierarchy, or yeah, hierarchy tab and then effect pivot point, you'll get this bigger gizmo thing. This is its current pivot point, no matter what this, the standard gizmo tells you. You want to center it to object and that will give it exactly around the middle. So now what we want to do is do Alt A, uh, click on the other caliper body, not like any other part, but the whole body. We're going to do align position XYZ, center center, align orientation as well. We're not going to do match scale, we're going to hit apply. So it's gonna look something like this. It will, because this wheel has a little bit of camera, I, f I think, uh, it may not, but if it does have camera, that align orientation will help match the angle um, of the whole wheel. So now what we're gonna do is we need to rotate it. And in order to do so, if you do it right now, this one, I think it's, it's positioned sh like completely at zero in terms of the camber, so. Uh, it'll work, but you can go up here to reference coordinate system, this little drop down under graph editors, where it says view, click on that and go to local. So this will change its orientation based on the actual object. So now we're going to rotate it to where, to how we want it to be. And that looks about right. We're just going to move it. I do want to do a second one, probably a little bit smaller. So a hierarchy effect pivot point. We're going to, while this effect pivot point is selected, we're going to do Alt A. Now, and then we're going to click on the rotor. So now the pivot point will move to the center of the rotor. We're going to do center, center. We're going to leave all these unchecked. We're going to hit apply. I don't think you really need to hit apply, but I just do just because it makes me feel better. But now, now as you can see, the pivot point is uh, in the center of the rotor. So now if we go here, and then make sure you're in local again. That way, in case there's camber. So now we can move this caliper wherever we want to on the uh, on the thing of the thing, you know. Okay, so now hold shift, select the axis that goes, you know, that way. Hold shift and then drag. This will allow you to duplicate that, um, that object. And also copy it along that axis. Now, typically with a dual caliper setup like this, the the second one is not as big. So what we're gonna do is with this one selected, we're gonna go back to effect pivot point, put it back to the center, and then we're gonna go to scale, and then we can just kind of make it a little bit smaller. That way, uh, we can make it a little bit thicker. There we go. So something like that. Um, just to have that second second caliper there and it being smaller. So now the most important part is first we need to delete our old one. So we're going to select the old one. It will open up where it is in the suspension LR. If it's in a dummy, delete that dummy too, but delete everything that's within the suspension LR um, that's related to the caliper. Sometimes people put other things for anime suspension. So just delete the caliper. Have all that checked, so delete. Okay. So now these two calipers are just on a, on their own. We need to add it to the suspension dummy. So that way it'll move up and down with the suspension. So we're going to go back up with these selected. We can go ahead and right click, add selected to new parent pick. Scroll down to your suspension LR, add it to those. So now when we select the suspension LR, the calipers will move um, with the suspension. This is the same concept as like wheels too. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you later.